Hi guys and welcome to 123MyOT's video on upgrading and downgrading your iOS firmware. Okay guys, so I've had a lot of people ask me how to get rid of the error 3194 in iTunes and this is an error that comes up when you are trying to either upgrade or downgrade your iOS. So when I say iOS, I mean the operating system on your iPhone, iPad or uh, iPod. So usually the mistake that people make when they're trying to either upgrade or downgrade is that they don't understand that Apple doesn't actually allow you to downgrade your device. Okay, and I'll prove that for you in a second here. Um, but first of all, let's just uh, bring up this little page here. So let's just say, for example, um, my iPhone here, 123 MyT's iPhone, is running the iOS 7.1. And let's just say I wanted to downgrade from 7.1 down to an earlier version of 7.0.4. Now, you might have seen a few of the tutorials on the 123 MyT website where it allowed you to, to downgrade grade your iOS by using an SHSH blob. So it can actually be done, but before you upgrade and down, downgrade your iOS, you need to get that file first. So let me just show you what will happen for most people when they don't understand that Apple won't actually allow you to upgrade, upgrade or uh, downgrade uh, your iOS versions. So let's say right now I wanted to go and do a restore of this earlier version to my iPhone. I'm going to hold down the shift key on my keyboard and hit restore and there's plenty of uh, videos which will show you uh, on the 123MyIT website which will show you how to do this but let's just say I wanted to uh, select the uh, iPhone uh, 7.0.4. Now remember I want to actually downgrade from 7.1.1 to 7.0.4 and I want to restore it. So let's just try that now and see what happens. Okay, it's all looking good. Bang. Now this is the mistake that most people have. And people are going, why can't I up why can't I downgrade it? You know, though I get loads of people ask me why can't I go between different versions? But you just can't. Unless you have the SH, SH blobs, uh, it's quite difficult to go between the versions. But what I'm trying to show you here is um, before you try to upgrade or downgrade, um, you should try and uh, watch this video first and what we'll do is we'll get the SH, SH blobs for you so that in the future if you do want to downgrade, you'll still be able to do it. Now you might say, well, what does it matter if it allows me to upgrade to the latest version? Why do I need to watch this video and why do I need my SHSA fobs? Well, I made the mistake personally where I uh, upgraded to the uh, the latest version but I forgot to actually get the SHSH blobs for an earlier version so I was not able to go back to that version even though I'd upgraded. So, okay. And I just want to show you something else that's quite misleading. So when you get this error that has a, a link there which says more information, so if we click on the more information uh, website, it will actually take us to an Apple support site where it says error 3194, error 17, this device is not eligible for a rebuild. Okay, so this is great, but it doesn't actually tell you in here anywhere uh, why you may be getting this error, which the main reason is you can't actually upgrade and downgrade your iOS firmware on your iPhone without the SHSH uh, blob file. So Apple doesn't actually go out of its way to tell you this. Um, and this is why a lot of people get frustrated. They go, oh, I'm trying to do it and I'm getting this error, but I've tried all these things on the Apple website and it still doesn't work. Yeah, because Apple won't allow you to upgrade or downgrade your device without your SHSH. Blobs. Now what do I mean when I say you can't upgrade? Of course you can upgrade. You can go into your phone, you can upgrade it that way. What I mean to say is you can't upgrade between versions. Okay, so you can upgrade to the latest version, but you cannot upgrade to an earlier, uh, a later version. Okay, what do I mean by this? Well, let's go back to the 123MyIT uh, iPhone firmware. And the latest version at the moment of the recording of this video is 7.1.1. Let's just say on our iPhone we had uh, this version here, 7.0.4, uh, 
okay, and uh, the in between 7.0.4 uh, version, there was a released version uh, 7.0.6 for our version of iPhone. So let's just copy that really quick. Okay. All right, so we've got it there now. So our iPhone is currently 7.0.4, and we wanted to not upgrade to the latest version. We wanted to upgrade to the 7.0.6 uh, version. Okay, it won't allow us to do that. It won't allow us to go um, to this from this version to this version. It will only allow us to go from this version. To the latest version. If this version changes, so let's say Apple brings out a version 7.1.2, which I'm sure they will at some stage, if they haven't already, then I will no longer be able to upgrade from this version to this version. I will only be able to upgrade to the latest version, which would then be 7.1.2. Alright, so you can't upgrade between versions. You can only upgrade to the latest version. That's the only only way that Apple will allow you to upgrade your iOS device. Okay, so let's just click OK on that and we'll just minimize the iTunes for a second. So the next thing to find out, guys, is okay, so I am using the latest version at the moment at the time at the rec time of recording this video was 7.1.1. And it's for iPhone uh, 4 GSM. Now, the first thing I've, I'll get you guys to do is actually go to the 123myit.com uh, website. Okay. And in the menu across the top here, if you ho hover over the iPhone, you've got a few different menus. You've got iPad firmware, iPod firmware, iPhone firmware, and identifying iPhone models. So click on this one first. And this will allow you to identify which iPhone uh, you have so that you can download the firmware for that model. Okay, so if we have a look here, this is my version. So on the back of your iPhone, you'll have this number or a number. So my number is A1332 and it's iPhone 4 GSM model. Scroll back to the top, hover over your iPhone, go into iPhone firmware, or if you've got you know, it's the same process if you're using an iPad or um, or an iPod. And we want to scroll down to where we find our firmware. Okay, so we've got all our firmware here, and these are all the links, direct links to the Apple firmware. If we just minimize that for a sec. And the next, next tool that we need to actually get our uh, SH, SH blobs off the phone is called, we're going to use Tiny Umbrella. Now you can use other uh, versions of software, but I found Tiny Un Umbrella to be quite good. So we'll go, go with that. If we go back to the 123MyIT website and we go to the downloads link across the top, I've actually put some links in here where you can get the Tiny Umbrella. Now, Tiny Umbrella works for Windows as well as uh, OS X, so you can use this on uh, on a Mac if you're using a Mac as well. And the latest version at the moment is 11, uh, 7 point eleven point zero zero. So just download that. Now I've already gone ahead and downloaded it, so I'm just going to run the Tiny Umbrella. And just click OK on that. Now these are all the uh, SHSH blobs that I've got currently saved. Okay, what we want to do is click on your connected device. We need to go into advanced. Make sure that you've got request SHSH from Cydia. Save all available SHSH blobs. And you can put this directory. Um, I'm just going to change that. I'm going to change it to desktop. Open. All right, so now it's going to save those SHSH blobs to my desktop. And you can see it's already started creating something there. I'll just click back on general. Now under your log, if you've got your log there. All right, this is where it's going to tell you um, where it's saving your files to. All right. 
Yeah, I'll just make sure. Okay, so I've just plug in my phone. All right, you can see the one, two, three, my IT's iPhone has, has come up. All right, so we've got those all ticked. It's going to save the uh, SHSH blobs to the desktop. So we'll click back on uh, my iPhone, go back into log so you can see what it's actually do, what it will actually do, and we want to go save. All right, so you can see here, all these red ones are all um, uh, uh, versions that won't uh, that, that that it doesn't have the SHSH blobs for and all the green ones are actually versions that it does have the SHSH blob for. So if we scroll back up and we look for that green real quick. Great. So you can see here that at some stage I must have jailbroken uh, this phone because it says this means Cydia does have your SHSH uh, blobs. Okay, so which one is that? That's for uh, iPhone 7.1.1. .1. Okay, great. So let's go down because that's the version I'm actually on. So it's not much help to us. Okay, so it says this means that, that Cydia does have your version, blah, blah, blah. And that is for iPhone 4. 7.0.3. Now this is probably when I actually jailbroke this phone on this version. It would have saved that SHSH file to the Cydia servers. So that's great. So in the future now, I can actually downgrade, if I wanted to, I could go from this latest version to this version here, which is 7.0.3 if I wanted to. Okay, and then I would just look that up on YouTube or wherever or on the 123MIT website to get some ideas for that. Now, if you want to look up any of the videos for the 123, um, go back to the 123MIT website, go to the top of the page, and it's got a search field, and just type in downgrade. Okay, and then hit enter or return on your keyboard. And downgrade. So here's all the all the videos here that will show you how to downgrade. And there's all the videos that I've done. So if we just click on downgrade, and we scroll down, there we go. So we've got that. So you can follow all those videos, guys. Um, I won't go through that right now because I want to try and explain a little bit about more about this error uh, 3194. Okay, so if we have another look, also we've we've actually saved this one. So I've been a bit proactive. I've actually gone in when it was uh, updated to 7.1, and I've saved that file off. Okay, so now if we want to minimise everything on our screen, you can see here that okay, we've got an SHSH blob for 7.1.1. We've got an SHSH blob for 7.0.3. And we've got an SHSH blob for 7.1. Okay, so let's just say in the future, uh, iOS 8 comes out. I really didn't like it. I can now downgrade it back to 7.1.1 if I needed to. Um, same goes for this one. If I want to downgrade back to 7.0.3, which is really good because you can jailbreak that version, then I would be able to downgrade to that one. Now, just to show you, um, that there's actually not the way that you can tell that there is actually nothing wrong with your setup, either your connection to the Apple server, your um, um, uh, anything wrong with your uh, host files, which I've done a tutorial on in the past, and you want to verify that there's actually nothing wrong, that the problem is just the versions that you're using, your firmware versions. If you go back into Restore, so hold down the shift key on your keyboard, click on restore. Okay, now <clears throat> just to show you again that that error is coming up. So I'm going to restore an earlier version. Now remember what I talked about before. So I'm currently running 7.1.1, which is the latest, and I want to restore it to an earlier version. Apple's not going to let me here. So if I go restore, bang, comes up with this error 3194 again, okay? So 
Uh, now I'm pulling my hair out. I don't know how, what's going on. I don't know why I can't downgrade my phone. I think there's something wrong with my uh, machine, my setup, my connection to Apple. Well, actually, there's not. And the way you can tell is if you unplug your iPhone, plug it back in. Go back into your iPhone. Wait for it to finish its backing up. Hold down your shift key, click on restore iPhone, go to the current version, okay, so the current version, remember, is 7.1.1, and it's the latest version, click on the current version, and go restore. Now, if it comes up at this stage again with error 3194, then you know that there's some problem with, uh, with your machine connecting to the Apple servers. If it doesn't, and it starts going through the restore, like it's doing now, then you know that there's nothing wrong with your machine. It's actually just your versions that aren't working for you, okay? So, um, if it is your versions, uh, what you can do, as you can see, that's now uh, restoring. So I'll just minimize that for a second. If you do have problem with your versions, Go through, go back to the 123MyIT website, go to the downloads page, download Tiny Umbrella, run it, see if you can find any um, SHSH blobs. Okay. If you can find SHSH blobs, good. You might be in luck. You might be able to go through and follow some more tutorials and actually downgrade your device to an older version. Um, if you can't, all is not lost. What I would suggest to you is save your SHSH blobs off. Get the file once it's saved off, like these ones here. Once you have a copy, email them to yourself. That way you'll never lose it. And then when you do upgrade in the future and you want to downgrade, you'll have some SHSH blobs to allow you to do that. All right, now if we go back just one last time, have a look at the iTunes. You can see it's verifying the restore now and it's actually going to go through. Okay, so I hope this was helpful, guys. I hope this uh, clears up a lot of problems with the error 3194. Um, so the first thing you need to check is, are you trying to upgrade or downgrade? If you are, are you trying to go to a version that Apple won't let you? The easiest way to work out whether you've got a problem with your machine or whether you've got a problem uh, with Apple not allowing you to uh, upgrade or downgrade your firmware is by upgrading or upgrading the firmware to the firmware that you're already on. If that works, then you know it's a firmware problem. If it doesn't, then you know that there's some problem with your machine connecting to the uh, Apple servers. All right, guys, so I hope this was helpful. I hope that clears up a few questions that you might have. Um, if it was helpful, please leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the 123MyIT YouTube channel and thanks for watching. Bye bye.